Hi everybody, today I've got the pleasure of sailing and testing an Allure 45.9 attacking so if you'll excuse me I Pretty much got the wind not quite on the beam. Um, full main, full Genoa. We're out, I think we've got about 15 knots, between 11 and 15 knots sustained wind this afternoon. Temperatures up, relatively clear skies, and we're averaging between seven and a half and eight knots. It's quite nice. As you can see, I'm on the starboard side. Jeff is steering. Steel wheels, which is my preference as standard. I'm sure that you could have carbon as an option. We have the Volvo Penta engine controls on and off start stop and your rev counter and engine hours and then just over here you have your bow thruster your bow thruster is an option it's a retractable bow thruster so there's less drag and resistance your throttle controls just down here and over the nice little magic thing about this, as you know, Laura and Garcia have centre boards. The 51 that we were on this morning is a centre board, and this is actually a lifting keel. Here's your hydraulic controls for the keel, and later on when we get into the marina or further along, we'll lift the floor so you can have a look. And under here, if I can get it off is your BNG autopilot controls and obviously it can be controlled up on your screen as well very very nice helm position absolutely fantastic it's really really light on the helm it's an absolute pleasure to sail had a fantastic afternoon here in Cherbourg Fantastic. Something I find with this allure, especially with the Jeffers steering, so you've got direct helming. It's really nicely balanced with full main Genoa. The wheel is nice and light. It's really, it's a pleasure, absolute pleasure.
very very nice you can't really see it I have to get someone to help me film but it's one finger that's how light it is lovely absolutely lovely had a fantastic afternoon testing this boat we've got a ferry on our port side and a container on our starboard I think we're gonna have to put a tack in so if you'll excuse me I can't maneuver the boat and film at the same time <laughs> take the opportunity while we're on the opposite tack to show you my view from the nav desk on the inside not bad at all give you a pano of the saloon while we're here and galley over on the port side while I'm here at the nav desk, you can see 15 inch BNG chart plotter. You have your fusion stereo. There is USB charging mains plug. Your VHF radio. DC switches. And there's a, a repeater to go in here. So it says brand new boat. You have quite a nice area to store bits and pieces, paperwork. Nice grab handle. Once again, the finish on the timber is really, really nice. What's a fabulous view and while you're sitting you can i don't know if my camera is going to pick it up but you can see forward and the nice thing about this nav desk you have a look that's where i was sitting and you have another seat here so if you wish someone's on the helm you have a nice view out so you can see the helm see what's going on if you want to or sat here not that i'm one i don't like having drinks or liquid by the nav desk but you could sit here have a sandwich talk with your partner or whatever or use it for a small office space well, it's rather nice Okay, starting from the aft, so can't get there. You have a sugar scoop style transom with a locker, port and starboard, or port there and starboard before. There is an area to attach an outboard, and obviously, you have your bathing ladder here. Step up into the cockpit and when you're at anchor in the marina the central chair comes out the way this section lifts up and you have your life raft in here or you can always have it on a cradle uh, outside underneath each helm seat is a locker they're locked at the moment I can assure you they're very deep um, very practical for putting your lines in and life jackets and bits and pieces. You have, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but on each helm station, actually moulded and curved. So when you're on the hill, it's still comfortable with your seat. And underneath here, you have line storage. And you can see underneath, it's a life raft there. went through the helms earlier I will do the port side as we didn't do that either side of the helm you have Lumar 55 self tailing automatic winches points for clipping on your harnesses safety first 
Some people don't like these modules, but I love them. Good grab handle by the helm, something to hold on to so you're not constantly pulling on your wheel and wondering after a year or two while it's all wobbly. It's very practical. On the port side, you have your BNG repeater and autopilot. And there is another repeater down here and compass forward. So we saw on the 51 with your line or sheet management system, something you don't get to see at most of the boat shows, the indoor ones, because they don't have all the lines, is actually how everything is managed either through the deck or along the deck with um, line management system, Tulumar blocks, back to a big cassette of clutches there. been very nicely done. I can say I thoroughly enjoyed my sail on this boat. The 45 comes with a standard spray hood or further forward you can have a um, rigid windscreen and then obviously your spray hood from there. You have a main sheet traveller which is brilliant. Still a German main um, sheet system, but at least you have a traveler to be able to adjust your boom in horn out hall, which is awesome. Luma tracks for your Genoa. And this one has solid steel rigging, outboard shrouds, adjustable backstays, so obviously if you've got a sodent running, shoot them back. And this boat was actually optioned out <coughs> with a full carbon main cell, main um, full carbon mast, twin spreader mast, and boom. Lovely bit of kit. It's not as standard, it's an option, and the owner had the fiber um, sails. This gadget here is to release the strain if you jibe. It's an anti-jibe. I'm sure there's a proper name for it. It's an option. Some people like it. I'm not particularly keen. I'd rather tie a preventer on, but that's my personal preference. We all like doing things differently. Moving around this boat is really, really easy. And just come forward. Single barrel roller, obviously integral, being aluminium. Have your code D or spinny hookup point there. Genoa furler and your jib solent. Right, anchor locker. Lumar windlass or not and your chain locker is forward and here if you can see is a watertight bulkhead crash bulkhead whatever you want to call it very very deep locker and there are your controls for your windlass and then forward just behind you have an absolutely huge sail locker. I don't know why we didn't put the fenders in there earlier. There's your electrics for your windlass. <sighs> nice bars for either climbing down as a ladder, storing lines on. And here is your main watertight bulkhead here, crash bulkhead. So you have two zones forward two zones aft for security i'll just pop this down right we're going to start with the forward cabin forward cabin today because there's so many people on the boat um it is a large semi-island queen size bed i'm going to come forward you have a couple of reading lights You'll see in the middle, there is a spot for a lee cloth. 
and either side you have some really nice port lights just over here you have a huge storage shelf with mains plug usb which is all important there's some extra light there see with the led lights very very nice very warm the bed lifts up like on the 51 I'm not sure if i can get it up one-handed and under the bed you have two really nice drawers self-closing access to bilge and storage underneath on the starboard side you have the owner's heads this is not a wet heads it's just a heads you'll see the shower in a minute it's electric freshwater flush it's a good size you have a couple of shelves here this is an owner's boat which is in use at the moment there's your black water tank pipes and services tucked in behind there come out of here and you have a you know a little cupboard there for all the necessaries that you need in a toilet and this is quite fun there's actually a basin in the cabin for washing out here if you want nice cupboard underneath it's hot and cold water ceramic bowl i think that's an after sales and then over on the port side try and keep the camera back a little bit you have as i say this boat's in use so i won't show too much that has people's clothes in and then more shelves etc on this side and as you can see there is storage for a suitcase and so on up top you have an opening hatch here an opening hatch in the middle and to give you an idea of head height in here in the forward cabin and tilt this up a bit once again i'm five foot eight so you've got at least two meters of head height of your companion way you have your day heads manual flush very practical um, my preference i know people say they get odors with salt water you have a nice ceramic sink once again going around this boat there are handholds everywhere up above you have an opening hatch you'll be able to see the spray hood through there you have an opening hatch here a handle for hanging tails on and obviously if we open this up black water tank and you have some very handy little shelves there under the sink you have a storage cupboard and another small one down here if i open this door here is your shower so shower for one it's a nice size not bad for a 45 foot you have a rain head shower top plus your hand hold what's and what cold water and there is actually storage behind um, the cloth hanger I think it's very good very practical good size I shall come into view so once again you know there's plenty of room and it's nice that it's not a wet head it's a single shower so you're not going to have a wet toilet or any of that rubbish right let's come out of here by the heads coming through is one of my favorite things about 
Allure and obviously Garcia and that is the workshop room. This doubles up as a single berth, um, it's a pilot berth but you have a nice workshop area, you can't get the drawer back in, you have all your drawers and stockage boxes for spare parts, tools, you can put a vise on here if you want. In the lazarette on the port side, the one that we didn't open, you have access if you want to be able to pass stuff straight down through or straight up and access directly to your steering quadrant. So access to steering, autopilot and so on, all your services underneath. In here, to the side, as you can see, there is storage for bicycles. I'm going to come back a little bit more. You have yet another storage cupboard, golf clubs. It gives you an idea of how big these storage cupboards are. There is a small opening hatch here. Come out of here. I think it's absolutely brilliant. On the starboard side, which is full of cushions, you have your second cabin. I know it's not ideal showing you the boat this way, um, but you do have a double bed. There is a reading light here. One on the other side. Plug, USB charging. You have an opening hatch up here. One straight above that goes into the spray hood so you can have it open while you're underway if you wish. And another opening hatch into the cockpit there. Remove the first aid kit. You have a cupboard here. Look at that. It's really good. A lot of these boats always cabins. Fire extinguisher, everybody. Really, really important. They should be everywhere. Here is access to electrics. Everything is all nicely labelled, nicely wired, it's all neat and tidy and easy accessible. You do have points in this cabin for lee cloths and behind the door there is access floor panel and a small access for getting into the mechanical space. This particular boat is a lifting keel, uh, not a centreboard like their normal ones. So under this section here is where your lifting keel is. When Jerome's finished doing the photographs we'll have a look. Um, okay I'll give you a pan out of the saloon. We saw the navigation uh, 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 Saw the navigation area earlier. So you have a raised saloon. It's level, um, so it's like a raised saloon with a drop down galley, and the nav area is raised up more. We'll start in the galley. You have a micro once again. Handholds. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you go in this boat, there's a handhold. Right, top drawer has all your bits and pieces. Microwave, just above there's an opening port light there. And below you have two stainless steel um, fridges, or you can you know how this goes, have fridge, freezer, 
it's up to you. There are very big, if I come this side, you'll be able to see how big the fiddles are. I think it's very, very good. Good attention to detail. So the cupboards are double catched, stop them dropping down. It's quite nice that they've got the bars in there to keep your crockery nice. So you have one, two, three, and a smaller cupboard there. A three burner gimbal stove. I'm sure there's probably an option for an induction hob. It's nice to see a handle forward. And the rear bank of the chair in the saloon is actually really good to brace yourself um, while you're actually working in the galley while underway. Very, very practical. Once again, I'll open this lower cupboard. Some more storage crates for food. Very, very practical. And coming over here, the access to your the worktop is quite nice and thick, so very solid. And then you have, which is our favourite, dual stainless steel sink, salt water pump, plus you have a foot pump for it, and you have hot and cold fresh water. Have a nice view in the galley out the port lights. I know we're back in the marina, but you can imagine yourself at anchor somewhere. Give me a nice pan over this way. There are nice little touches all over this boat. So you can see down by the step, there is a red light. So one, it'll look nice and pretty, but two, for practical reason, when you're, um, you know, off doing a, a long passage, you can have the red lights on, you're not disturbing anybody with excess light and you won't lose your night vision. I think that's quite handy. Underneath the, the back of the seat in the saloon, you have yet more storage for food or whatever it is you, you want to put in there. Very, very practical. Move Guillaume's coat. You have a nice area. The stitching on the leather, I mean, a lot of these holds around here. I'll always go on about this for these higher end boats. You know, you've got really nice joint work, solid oak, you've got hand stitched leather on a lot of the grips, and yet another. Corner storage unit, nothing has been left to waste in this boat. There's, everywhere's got space. You have an adjustable table in your saloon. Um, I think the saloon area is big enough to fit at least six people, um, very comfortably eight. Had a squeeze around the table, but you can drop that table down and make it into a very large, cozy day bed if you wish. Okay, underneath your companion stairway, you have your Volvo Penta 75 horsepower engine. You can see your charging alternators. You have a, I think, it's in French. Da -da -da, it's a 20 litre um, hot water tank. You can see your salt water strainers at the back and as we saw before the side panels actually come out to give you better access around your engine and you have access in front to bilge pump I'm not going to lift up all the panels I would like to and it's not an excuse but I'm running out of battery and I can say that the soundproofing and insulation in this engine room is very very good because when we were leaving the marina I was at the nav desk minding my own business and it was very very quiet very quiet indeed
one of your water tanks. I know this tour's a bit bitsy. There's your diesel tank. Once again, Alors, keeping everything central. As much weight as possible in the centre of the boat for stability, as you can see. Back down here, because I love it, by the nav desk. She handles really, really well. I had quite a bit of time um, on the wheel today for a change. Um, when she gets on the hill, because obviously she's not a rounded hull like most bows, they are chimed being aluminium. But when she got on in her stride um, and got on the chime, she was very, very comfortable. Nice, fast, responsive and well-balanced sailboat. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below. Um, we try and, I try and read them all and reply to all of your comments. I really appreciate everything you guys say and do. Thank you very much to subscribing to our channel and spending the time to watch my videos. I know some of them are a little bit long. If there's anything I've missed out, please let me know in the comments below and I will do whatever I can to give you the information that you asked for. Hopefully we'll be back here again at Alor and Garcia and Cherbourg um, sometime later in the year to have a test on the x cat. But until then, see you again. Thank you very much.